Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com, and today I've got a first-hand look of the new Amazon MP3 store with Cloud Player that lets you sync and play your music from the Amazon Cloud. Let's go take a look. Perhaps trying to stem off the uh, forthcoming Google Music Player with Cloud Sync, we still don't know exactly what it's going to be called, but that'll suffice for now. Amazon has upgraded their Amazon MP3 app, which before just lets you purchase MP3s from the uh, Amazon store. Well, now you can play them, and you can also play them through what's calling their cloud player. Now this app is available for upgrade, or for initial download in the Android market, but it's also available through the Amazon App Store as well. You can go out and get that for free today. Now, you're probably familiar with the store where you can go out and buy stuff, but let's go ahead and walk through a purchase. We'll hit this, and let's say I want to search for somebody that I just found yesterday on Pandora. Haley Westerna, or Westernra, Westernra. I don't know how to pronounce her name exactly, but that'll do. And let's come down here and say, you know what, I want to come over to albums instead of songs. You can purchase individual tracks usually for about 99 cents, or you can come down and purchase albums that vary anywhere from uh, a couple bucks all the way up to uh, you know 10 or 20. So let's go ahead and grab Odyssey. It's going to cost us $9.49. When we do that, the button changes from the price into a buy button. Go ahead and do that. Now it's going to ask for my password. I'm going to do that off camera and we'll see what the rest of the purchase experience is like. So with that, I've logged in and now I've got a couple options. I can either save this to my device or something new is I can save this to my Amazon Cloud Drive. And that's really what I'd like to show you. The, the Amazon Cloud Drive lets you have, by default, 5 gig of storage that you can basically upload your uh, your music collection into. Now, a lot of you are saying, hey, 5 gigs not that much. I've got an SD card that's bigger than 5 gig, and, and so do I. But when you make a purchase, and you can see I just got my purchase notification by email. But when you make a purchase through the, uh, the Amazon MP3 store uh, of an album, that's upgraded to... Uh, it's kind of spotty, but it looks like an additional 20, or it could be 20 gig in total. So the unfortunate thing is that does, well, the, the app that, or the, uh, the music that you just purchased does count against that. So it's uh, a little bit frustrating there. I'd like to see anything that you purchase through the MP3 store be uh, you know, outside of that. Now it says I need to go to the uh, Amazon Cloud Player or continue shopping. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the Amazon Cloud Player, which is right back here inside the, uh, the Amazon MP3 app. And I now, it looks like I have the, uh, have the album here. Let's go ahead and play track one. It gives you a message about streaming from the cloud that it's going to uh, adjust the... Uh, it's not going to adjust the bit rate. It's going to stream at the original audio quality, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, obviously, if you're on a, a low speed connection like Edge, uh, that might impede your playability. <clears throat> it says also here that you stream using 3G, 4G, or Wi-Fi. That's kind of obvious to, uh, to minimize playback interruptions. Or you can also uh, download it to the device and play offline. You're responsible for any uh, data use that's incurred, yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's not show that anymore. Choose OK. And then we've got this nice little streaming indicator. And it starts playing almost immediately. And you can see here, it's streaming pretty quickly. I'm already halfway streamed through the, uh, the song itself and only nine seconds in. So we don't get in trouble from the, uh, the music labels. We'll go ahead and pause that. But very quick, very easy. Um, you know, I like that, uh, that feature and functionality. Let's go ahead and go back. We can now have this nice little player down at the bottom. If we uh, we want to pick another song, let's go ahead and choose that one. I haven't heard that one before. And again, it starts streaming it in. It takes about five seconds to start streaming before it starts playing. And then over here, this is Wi-Fi, and it's a pretty decent Wi-Fi connection. It looks like it's playing very, very quickly and easily. If we go to the next track, We've got that same uh, same initial pause. Now, what I want to find out here is 
after you've streamed this uh, entirely, is there that initial pause before it starts playing the next track? So uh, since you don't want to listen to uh, to a whole bunch of this stuff, let me do that off camera and we'll get right back to it. So we're approaching the end of this track. It's 4 minutes 39 seconds long and we're at about 428 right now. And what I'm going to show you here is how it handles changing from one track which is streamed to the next track which hasn't streamed in yet. So we're right at the end of this song. And right away it starts playing that. It looks like it's, uh, it's pre-cached the next song, which is great. That means you're not going to have any hiccups or hesitations between uh, the end of one song and the beginning of the next. So very cool. Uh, up here when it's playing you also have this little drop down so you can get direct access back to that if you want to go and read your email or do something else when you pause that that goes away so overall I'm really impressed uh, there are some settings that you can go into you can sign out submit a claim code um, opt into uh, only downloading over Wi-Fi clear some caches yada 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 we can go into our delivery preferences which we uh, set earlier. In this case, we're saving our purchases to our cloud drive. Now, this lets us uh, stream them from any cloud drive enabled device. So your desktop player, your Android phone, and whatever comes in the future. I don't believe there's an iOS version uh, that lets you play from your cloud drive yet, but I'm sure that will be coming uh, before terribly long. And of course, you've got your streaming preferences. And I'm going to stream this over any connection type versus over just Wi-Fi or just 3G cellular and Wi-Fi. So any connection type, it's going to work. Uh, I also can refresh the cloud drive. Now, this is kind of interesting. I thought this would happen automatically, and maybe it does. But if I go out and make some purchases from my desktop computer or my laptop, save it to my cloud drive there, then uh, this is automatically going to check every 10 minutes if I want to update Manually, I can do that. So there's no real push notification. Uh, it's more of a time to go out and check whenever this app is open. So uh, a little bit of room for improvement, but overall, for uh, for initial uh, an initial impression here, uh, I really really like what you can do with uh, the new features and functionalities of being able to play directly from your cloud drive uh, right here. It's very seamless. Um, they've really nailed the the purchase experience down. So. Uh, I'm impressed. Go ahead and give it a try. It's Amazon MP3 Store. Now these are MP3s, which means they are not DRM protected, which means you are free to listen to them on any device that supports MP3s, which is fabulous. More people should do that. Um, you know, so that's a kind of a poke in the eye out to Zune and uh, and iTunes. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Go out and grab it. Uh, it's an update to the Amazon MP3 app, and it's very well worth your while. Uh, it's a shot across the bow for Google, who is going to be releasing something similar that we're kind of calling Google Music. Uh, they have some initial bits out there in the Honeycomb devices that we've uh, seen. There are also some APKs for the uh, the new Google Music player that's that have been floating around a little bit with uh, people having mixed results being able to play them or not. But Amazon beat them to the punch, and I think they nailed it. They did a fabulous job. We want to know what you think. Do you like MP3s over DRM protected tunes? If you were to buy stuff from the Amazon MP3 store, would you buy it and download it to your device? Or, which also includes your computer, or would you just save it into your cloud drive? Is 20 gigabytes big enough? Do they need to up that to more? Uh, is this something where you're willing to sync your existing music up to your new Amazon Cloud Drive? We want to know this. Let us know down in the comments below. If you have any experiences, good, bad, or indifferent, also let us know that. Of course, if you like seeing these first-hand looks at new apps and new features and functionality, give this video a thumbs up. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.